Yes, sir. Rise and grind, man. I'm back at you with another video at the Pull Up King. For this video, we got a 2011 uh, Chevy Impala LT. It's a 3.5. Yeah, 3.5. We're doing a power steering pump on it. Change it out. Got our power steering fluid. Brand new pump. See what we got here. We got belt and popped off pulley, loose, and the belt has no grip. So let's get it, man. We're gonna start with these here 10 millimeter. There's two of them holding in the reservoir. I'm gonna get that out the way. Make room. I stay empty. Got no cooling. Now we got that out the way. We got a little bit more room to work with. Got to get in here. Want to get down here? And show this is the belt tensioner. It's in the back. You put the ratchet right there. Three eighths ratchet. So 13 millimeter bolts, deep socket, 3 8 ratchet. That's what I'm gonna use to get those three out. As you can see, those bolts are there. Those bolt holes, three of them. That's the three bolts right there, power steering pump. Once we get those out, can move that pump around. Pull it up. Now we got these clips right here holding. I'm gonna get those out. Probably take off this positive terminal. So I can pull it up. See, we got some more room. Now we got it here. We're gonna go ahead and take off this hose, this return hose. So we can pull it up some more. Just like that, got that hose removed, and now we can move this up. Now we got a 16 mil bolt here. You can get that off with a wrench. Got it off. That's what that pulley looking like. This thing dirty. So we're gonna swap it out, take this pulley off. I'm gonna show you how to take it off. That's the kit we're using. All right, remove it. We're using this to remove it. And this one to push it back down and install. This is our setup. You want it to go in like that so it can catch and can pull it up. Don't put it on this end. That's not gonna catch. It's gonna slide right off. Boom. And then you wanna get your sleeve. I'm sorry, you wanna get this here and bring this nut down like that. And then you put it up in there. And then that holds it like that. Then you get your sleeve and you put it on. All right, so what the deal is, is this. We wanna hold this and turn this. This is gonna push it out. So I turned this, held that, and turned it. And now it's tight. It's tight. So you wanna continue, hold that, and turn this. All right, that's what we got. So just by holding that, and turning that righty tighty lefty loosey you want to turn it to the right you know push it right off so i held that with a 20 a 21 mil this nut and this is a 16. now we can put it on a new one the 
this is what we want to do next set that on there to install I want to get this piece here find the right thread that's gonna go inside and stick to that thread all right it's gonna catch and you want to turn it down until you can't turn it anymore and then turn this down till it's flush just like that so this is what I got going 3x ratchet 14 mil on the top of that boat this is a uh, 16 and you want to hold that one and turn this one and we're turning it to the like it's loosening that's how I got it set turning it to the left and that's gonna push it down we almost there and we there so we're gonna back that out take it off Got it flush. Reinstall. So next we got to take out this cap so we can reinstall. Right here. You want to replace your gaskets. It's going to replace it right here. Tighten that up. Reinstall the pump, put that hose back on there. Now we're going back in. All right, we in there. And that pump, that little spinning freely. Gonna install a new belt. Let's see what we got, part number. I'm not sure where you got this from, but client divided apart so this belt will not come out unless you remove that bolt hanging right there take that bolt out and that bracket will swing away from it and it'll that belt goes in between because like right now it's not even coming out you can see how it catches right there so you got to move it to get that clear. All right, once you get that belt routed, I put them on all the pulleys except for this one right here. That idler pulley. Because when I put the, release the tension down here, I'm gonna just slide it right there. Slide it on. Got that ratchet on it. And what we're doing is pulling up to release the tension. Like that. All right, we in there. Go, go ahead and do the next procedure. Jack the car up, get it in the air, front two tires. And we're gonna bleed the air out the power steering system. Get it up in the air. All right. And we're going to turn the wheels, the steering wheel, back and forth, right to left. Numerous times, several times. Basically, the air is going to be pushed through the reservoir. Come out. Bubbles uh, up here. And once those bubbles go away, and you don't hear whining noise, then you got it. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, the pull-up king.